Jetsa, my darling, come to me, my little sea spies. Mama's feeling well begone, banished to the nether regions of the sea. No food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Poor Ursula. Yes, poor me. What news do you have? King Trident and the Merfolk are celebrating your defeat, and he blames you for the Queen's demise. Of course he does! Use a little black magic to help a few Merfolk, and this is the things I get. Well, now it's, turn the it's time to turn the tides on Trident. We just need to find his Achilles heel, a weakness that will crack his arm. The King is terribly loaded to his daughters, especially the youngest with the beautiful voice. But she missed the celebration. Hmm. Apparently Ariel takes her gift for granted just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Silenced. You two, go find out what that girl really wants and lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a spell to make her dreams come true. Once we have her trapped, King Triton will rush to her rescue. And then, my dears, Yes? The trident, the crown, and the throne will all be mine! Ha ha ha! stewardship and care. So please, dear child, for the sake of her memory. I know, Daddy, I know. Blue and Ariel's claw organs are very bad because the seagull went on and on and on about human stuff. Seagull? Human stuff? You went up to the surface? Um, nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Nets, harpoons, you're my youngest. I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, You'll obey my rules. But if you just listen to me for once... That's the last time you're going to the service. Understood? You're so unfair! Nah, she's as stubborn as a farm. Teenagers, give them an inch and they'll swim all over you. <laughs> I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. Maybe I was too harsh. Nonsense, sire. If you ask me, you aren't tough enough. I'm not. Ariel needs constant supervision. Someone to look after her to keep her out of trouble. It's not a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you are just the crowd to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. Mine? But your majesty, she's a water mermaid! I'm just a crustacean! <laughs> Surely you ought to pick someone put her on the food chain. <laughs> such wonderful things could be so bad. Who cares? No big deal. 
be married to a princess by your next birthday, which is now just three days away. Have you ever tried to take a princess down? It's a joke. Their dresses get caught in the rigging, and most of them can't even swim. You know, there's more to a woman than her flutter kick. Our kingdom needs a queen. But where am I going to find her? A girl that's alive and as carefree as the sea itself. Where? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither! I thought you were an expert on this. On their stuff. Sure. But, yikes, the side of them? Hideous, ain't it? I don't know, Scuttle. I think he's really handsome. Trust me, you're sweet. When I come across the girl in my dreams, they'll hit me like lightning. Hurry to the cup, Kami, Kathy, King Tron must be angry at me. Wrap the hatches so that everyone can pull Whoa, the wind's on the move here! Purple scuttle, everyone! The ship's listing badly. Oh, good heavens. Secure the ring. Eric, take the wheel. she was, Prince Eric, as real as a mermaid on the rock.
long time since we dined in the company of such loveliness. Usually it's just... Usually it's just me, Grim. He has to stare across the table at my mug. The bath certainly worked its wonders. Your mystery guest is groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, lazy. She has no voice. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's unusual. <laughs> Thank you. Don't tell me she's fond of pipes. Can't say I blame you. That's new tea from Dusseldorf. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Looks like your pipe smoked you. <laughs> Very amusing. Yes, well, she certainly does have making you smile. You should see the princesses that groom big drags to dinner. So prim and boring. But you, if you don't mind my asking, what was it? An accident when you were little? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Who needs words anyway? A smell says just as much sometimes. <laughs> You're nimble on your feet, aren't you? Well, dancing is the way that your feet grow. Oh, because you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, not so much as a word. Try it, go on, like so. So, or how about the 
swimming? <laughs> oh, we gotta do something quick. But what? We just need a right, we just need to create the right kind of mood. Oh, you mean like candlelight champagne? Nonsense. All that we need is right here. Percussion? Strings. Wings. Thank you. 
sick child. I had so hoped, dear Eric, that you might find love somewhere within this room. I have room to be, but I've just been too glad to see it. Come here, Ariel. Can it be? Another contestant? That's the voice. But the teller the contest is over. I've already made my choice. She disappears. I have to have you cracked in shells. She was what, Your Majesty? What kind of a tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sea witch? What? She tried to help the sea witch with everything, man. She bartered her voice away to become to for a pair of legs? And now she's lost her very soul. Oh, Ariel, what have you done? Come, we must save my daughter. Look out! 
impertinent mermaid. I'd have spat of you just as easily as I eliminated your mother. So father was right. Yes, father was right. And you'll soon see how insignificant the merfolk become when Ursula is in charge. With Triton in hand, I shall unleash the power of Poseidon to destroy you all. <laughs> you witch. You the bastard. The shell. Stop, sea snake.
Um, they have instructions for now, so let me just kind of clue you in. Oh my goodness, hello. From Florida. Um, they are about to take off their microphones and go outside for just a few minutes while we maybe spend about five minutes wrapping up our camp experience. Then they'll come back in here and get with you parents and friends and they can greet you. Then they have to go back to the rooms where they changed clothes and leave their costume pieces in there. So we've told them, of course, if they're wearing things that belong to them, they need to take them home with them. But if it's costume pieces that belong to the camp, they need to leave them in that room. After they have changed, they'll get with you and go to their bunk rooms over in the gym where they can get all their stuff. Everything's clean, I hope, and packed up. And so you can just get them and then you'll check out with Jared in the lobby there where you registered. And you can just go on home at that point. Again, let me remind you that there are donation buckets in the back or pots if you would like to contribute. We would really appreciate that so much. And um, you know, you have wonderful children. Just amazing, precious treasures. And we have really enjoyed not only working on this musical, but all the worship times, you just cannot imagine hearing them sing from their hearts in worship. It's just been such a pleasure. And it makes me feel really good about not only right now, but the future of the church. And um, these kids have a heart for the Lord, and you can be very proud of them. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> If any of you are out here in the audience, or could y'all come out? I would love for you to see the people. Who are